Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the English second paper class brought to you by Kishur Batayan. You know that the whole world has been infected with the deadly virus, Corona. In this situation, the government has taken decision to close down all institutions. But the Kishur, uh, the Kishur Batayan page has taken an initiative to bring your classroom to your home. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Let me introduce myself to you first. My name is Laila Farhanarin and I have been working as a lecturer in St. Joseph Higher Secondary School. If you want to join this classroom, please join as quickly as possible and share the class with your friends also so that we can create a bigger virtual classroom. Let's see how many of you have already joined with us. As we can see, a great many students have already joined and we are waiting for many students to participate. Okay, so there's more than 100 of students right now. Let me introduce myself to you first. My name is Lila Farhanarin and the sound is perfect. Let's go. Those who are following us know that the last two class we are based on right form of verbs. And basically, in the previous two classes, we focus on the subject verb agreement. Today, we are going to discuss about right form of verbs, the rules that are related to tense and conditionals. Let's begin. In case of universal truth and habitual fact, we always use present simple tense. So what do we know by universal truth and habitual fact? Obhash kato jyoti kono kaj ba chiron ton shottho bojhay tobe shekhetre amra je tense ti use kori ta hocche present simple ba present indefinite. We know that in case of present simple in case of third person singular number we have to add s or es at the end of the verb. In other cases we can just use the base form of the verb. Let's see the example. The earth moves round the sun. A example T, amader ekti universal truth ba shottho ke prokashito kore. On the other hand, the second one, ice floats on water. This is also an example of universal truth or a general fact. In these cases, what we have done? Look at the first example, the earth moves round the sun. The subject of this sentence is the earth which is third person singular number and for that reason the s has been added at the end of the verb move now let's look at the second one ice floats on water we know that the base form of floats is float and s has been added with float because the subject here is third person singular number if you watch the previous lesson of right form of verbs, you are going to have a clear description of this rule. Now this is the second rule, model auxiliary verbs. In case of model auxiliary verbs such as can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, ought to, have to, must, we are going to use the present form of the verb, V1, which is known as the base form. In this cases, even if the subject is third person singular number, we are not going to add S or ES, as in, he can do it easily. Here what we can see, he is third person singular number, but we are completely ignoring this fact. Why? Because the model auxiliary verb can has been used here. For that reason, we have used the best form, do. He can do it easily. Now the second one, everyone should respect his parents. Should has been used here, which is model auxiliary, and for that reason, we have used the present form of the verb, respect. Now lastly, the third one, it may rain today. 
may have been used and for that reason rain the verb has been used as the base form or v1 moving on to the next rule time expressions such as always regularly sometimes often generally daily every day occasionally usually and normally always follow present simple tense that means present indefinite tense as in when does he take his food normally you can see that it's an example of interrogative sentence in case of making wh question in interrogative sentence in present form what do we do we usually use do or does after the wh word here the wh word when has been used and since the verb since the subject of the sentence is he which is third person singular we have used does here and the base form of the verb is used as take do not forget to give a question mark after the interrogative sentence now let's see the uh, second one a good student prepares his lessons regularly regularly has been used or that niyomito bhabe প্রায়শই কোনো কাজ যদি করা বোঝায় যেটা আমরা প্রায় করি মাঝে মাঝেই করি প্রতিনিয়ত করি এই ধরনের ক্ষেত্রে আমরা যে টেন্সটা ইউজ করব তা হবে প্রেজেন্ট সিম্পল বা প্রেজেন্ট ইন্ডিফিনিট মুভিং অন টু দ্য নেক্সট রোল টাইম এক্সপ্রেশনস সাচ অ্যাজ ইয়েস্টারডে আগো লং আগো লাস্ট ইয়ার লাস্ট উইক লাস্ট মান্থ that day day before always follow past indefinite tense why are we using past indefinite tense in this cases yesterday goto kal goto shoptaho goto mashe age purbe jodi ami kono kaj boli amra jani amra je tense ti use kori sheti hocche past indefinite that means when an action took place before now in the past we always use past indefinite or past simple for this reason the examples that have been shown here for example i went to cox's bazaar last month the time expression that have been used here is last month goto mashe ami goto mashe cox's bazaar gechhilam for that reason we have used went so dear students whenever you find this type of expressions like long time ago last month you have to use past indefinite tense v2 form of the verb in case of go we have used the past form went and in this case we have used the past form of leave that is lived so you have to remember this time expressions basically if you identify this time expressions in any type of sentence what you are going to do you are going to use past indefinite tense the expressions now at this time at this moment or at present or at this time always use present continuous tense what do we mean by present continuous whenever i'm referring to an action that is happening right now at the time of speaking we are going to use present continuous tense connect a kaj choloman obosthay amra je tense ta diye bornona kori সেটাকে বলা হয় প্রেজেন্ট কন্টিনিউস নাও নাও অ্যাট দিস মোমেন্ট অ্যাট প্রেজেন্ট বলতে আমরা কি বুঝাই এই মুহূর্তে তার মানে এই মুহূর্তে যে কাজটি চলছে সেটি আমরা প্রেজেন্ট কন্টিনিউস টেন্স দিয়ে দেখাতে পারি ফর এক্সাম্পল হি ইজ সিঙ্গিং আ সং নাও নাও দ্য এক্সপ্রেশন দ্যাট ইউ হ্যাভ টু ফোকাস অন ইজ নাও অর ইন দ্য সেকেন্ড এক্সাম্পল অ্যাট দিস মোমেন্ট রাইট নাও এই মুহূর্তে যে কাজটি চলছে in this type of time expressions what have we done we have used the subject at the beginning as in he i we have used the be verb am is or you can use are also we have used ing with the base form of the verb so what is the structure of present continuous tense i'm going to repeat it once again at first you have to put the subject then the be verb am 
is or are depending on the subject verb plus ing and then the time expression or the rest of the sentence in case of third person singular number for example he she it or any kind of singular noun we are going to use is in case of i we have to use am as be verb and in other cases like we they you or any other kind of plural noun we are going to use are moving on time expressions such as just just now recently already lately ever yet always use present perfect tense now what do we mean by present perfect tense when an action happened before now but the result is still there that means the event or the action has already been completed but the result or the effect is still present we are going to use present perfect tense kono ekta kaj shesh hoye giyeche kintu sheter je effect orthat sheter je result ba folafol ta jodi ekhon porjonto bortoman porjonto bortoman obosthay thake tobe she khetre je tense ti amra use kori sheti hocche present perfect now this type of time expression such as just just now recently already eglo dara ke bojhay ei matro ba somproti samprotik shomoy ba kichukkhon age kichukkhon age matro jodi kono kaj shesh hoy ei time expression gulo amra jodi sentence e pai tobe amra use korbo present perfect tense for example the first one he has taken his lunch just now she ei matro তার দুপুরের আহার গ্রহণ করেছে তার মানে তার দুপুরের আহারটা গ্রহণ করা শেষ হয়ে গিয়েছে কিন্তু ফলাফলটি বিদ্যমান ফর দ্যাট রিজন উই হ্যাভ ইউজড হ্যাজ টেকেন হিয়ার দ্যাট ইজ প্রেজেন্ট পারফেক্ট নাও হোয়াট ইজ দ্য স্ট্রাকচার অফ প্রেজেন্ট পারফেক্ট টেন্স উই হ্যাভ টু ইউজ দ্য সাবজেক্ট অ্যাট দ্য বিগিনিং দেন উই হ্যাভ টু ইউজ হ্যাভ অর হ্যাজ দেন দ্য ভি থ্রি ফর্ম অফ দ্য ভার্ব ভি থ্রি মিনস পাস্ট পার্টিসিপল ফর্ম অফ দ্য ভার্ব অ্যান্ড দেন দ্য রেস্ট অফ দ্য সেন্টেন্স Let's look at the second one. They have already come home. Tara, iti mudhe basha e chole eshe chhe. I have met him recently. Aami shampotik shumai tashat e dhekha kore chhe. So recently, the time expression that has been used here is referring to something that has finished already, but the result is still there. For that reason, we have used present perfect tense. In these cases, we have to use has in case of third person singular number in other cases we are going to use have and yes do not forget to use the past participle or the v3 form of the verb now it's time for a quiz so we have so far covered five or six rules let's check if you have really understood it or not So the first question is where you go now. This is the pattern that you are going to have in your exam also. You are going to have a blank here and in the bracket you are going to have the verb, the base form of, of the verb. What we have to do? We have to write the correct form of the verb here. So students, send me your messages, so let me know if you have understood the topic or not. What will be the answer of this one? where you go now let's check okay so mehrima has written bella mehrima uh, are going sadia rahman going mintu ranjun thor has written going ruhi going naushin tabassum are going mahfuz ahmed are going kanta choudhury going naim islam are going champa kunj are going uh, shagor haldar shanto fine so i think most of you have understood it but there is a kind of confusion let me check so in this case many of you have given me the answer going but if we are going to put going only in here is the sentence becomes meaningful for example where are you going now where is the be verb where is are In this case what you have to do is in the gap you are going to write 
are going. So the answer is going to be where are you going now? Do not forget to use the be verb because that's very important. Now the second question. He often carry an umbrella. Look at the time expression often here and send me the answer. Okay, so we are going to get some answers here. Rifa Zarif carries, Naim Islam carries, Mehrima Bella carried. Carried, okay, fine. Uh, Mehrima, we are talking about the time expression often. Rifa carries. Bhuya, Muhammad Bhuya carries, Ruhi carries, Yasin Arafat has written carries, Sayeda Rahnuma, you have also written carried, Tahira Hawk carries, okay, so the right answer is going to be carries. Why carries is the right answer here? Because often, prai, it has been used in this sentence as a time expression, carry, jokhunami prai kono kichu kori, what are we going to use? We are going to use the present form, the present indefinite. So the answer is going to be carries. Now students, uh, I have written the full sentence here. But in your exam, you are going to have A, B in this uh, before the blank. So you don't have to reproduce the full sentence. You can just write A, B, C, D and then write the correct answer only. Only the verb will be enough for you to get the mark. Now this is the third question. Have you see her lately? You have to use the correct form of the verb see. Send me the message. Let me know if you have understood or if you have um, been good about. It's very attentive in the class. Mehrim Bela, Shore Nador Seen, Naushin Tabassum Sim, Rifa, Mukti Seen, Fariduddin Seen has been used here. Shamprati. For that reason, we have used the correct form of the verb seen. Thank you so much for sending your feedbacks or for sending the answers so quickly. And please stay with us. We are moving on to the next rule. So now we are going to talk about for or since. For or since when they are being referred to as duration or the time when the action starts, we are going to use present perfect continuous tense. Now what do I mean by this? Amra jani present perfect continuous tense, amra ki dhaner verb use kori? Kono akta kaj onik shumay dhore ba kichu shumay dhore bortuman porjunto cholse. That means the event or the action has started before now and it has been continued up to the moment. In this case, we are going to use for or since to mention the duration or to mention the time when the action starts. For amra use kuri, duration ba bakti kal bojhate. Onno dike since amra use kuri, kono ekta kaj kakhon shuru hoye chilo, she kaj ti jokhon theke shuru hoye chilo, she time ti bojhate. For example, Rifat has been reading for three years. Rifat has been reading for three years. Tarmani Rifat teen bachor dhore. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I think I should read three hours here. I'm so sorry for that. It should be hours. Rifat has been reading for three hours. In this case, what we have used? We have used the subject at the beginning. We have used has been. We have used verb plus ing, then the time expression for. Why have we used for here? Because this is referring to a duration. Koto shumai dhore. Koto shumai dhore ba bakti kal taki. Sheta jehetu amra bochachi. For that reason, we have used for here. And then the time expression, three years. So what you have to focus on here is, if you find for or since in a sentence, and that has been referring to a duration, or the time when the action starts, we are going to use present perfect continuous tense. 
I guess you already know what is the structure of present perfect continuous tense, but still I am going to repeat it once again. Present perfect continuous tense, I am the subject, then we use have been or has been. See here, has been. Then we are going to use the verb plus ing. Then we are going to use the rest of the sentence with the time expression scenes and then the rest of the sentence. Now, in this case, you are going to focus on scenes or for. Jokuni tumi sentence degbe, scenes atseba for atse, right form of verbs use kor jono prothome khal korbe, jetiki baptical bozat sikina. Othoba, e katsti kon shumai shuru he silo, sheti bozat sikina. Jodi baptical, ba katsti kokon shuru he silo ta bozai. Taholamra present perfect continuous tense use kurbo. I'm repeating it once again. We are going to have the subject have been or has been verb plus ing and then the rest of the sentence or the time expression. Now there's another uses of since. What is that? It can function as a conjunction also. Since connect a sentence, a conjunction he should hote pare. For example, look at this one. It is many years since I came to Dhaka. So, what is the main function of conjunction? We know that a conjunction joins two words or two sentences, two parts of the sentence. So, here in the first example, there has been two parts. It is many years, it is one part. I came to Dhaka, that is another part. And this two part have been joined by scenes. So this is the conjunction here. Jokho namra since ke kono sentence conjunction hishabe pabo. In this case, there's a formula to use. What's that? If you have present indefinite or present perfect before scenes, then we are going to use past indefinite after that. Since er age. Jodi tumar sentence se present tense thake, sheta hote pare indefinite, sheta hote pare perfect. Shekhetre, paroborti j part ta thakbe, shekhanamra use kurbu past indefinite. That means the v2 form of the verb. Look at this one. It is many years since I came to Dhaka. Ami Dhaka asha onik din hoye gethe, onik botshur hoye gethe. So, what we are seeing here, it is many years. Subject is. This is present indefinite tense. The conjunction that, we, that has been used here is since. After that, we have past indefinite. I came. Subject, then the V2 form of the verb. Now, let's look at the second structure. If you have past indefinite before since, then we are going to use past perfect after that age jodi past indefinite thake tahole pore amra ki likhbo past perfect for example it was many years so was je to byabohar hoyeche this is the v2 form of am is er for that reason we have used they had subject plus had plus v3 met Met. We have used met here. This is the past participle form of meet. I'm repeating the rule once again. Since if it is being used as the conjunction of the sentence, if the first part is in present tense, then in the second part we are going to use the past indefinite. But in the first part, if you have past indefinite, then in the second part we are going to use past perfect. Prothomong she jodi present thake indefinite ba perfect tahole amra porer ongshe ki korbo past indefinite since er age prothomong she jodi past indefinite thake tahole amra porer ongshe ki korchi past perfect now this one before or after two actions happened one before or after another before ba after diye jodi ektir pore arekti kaj othoba ektir age arekti kaj bojhay 
that means there will be two actions here that is going to happen one after another or one before another. Actor age acta or actor pore arecta ka jodi bochai. In that case, we are going to use past perfect tense. But here, there is another structure that we have to follow. Shotobala amra shaba ekti translation shikhetsi. Dr. Ashibar purbe rogi maragalo. Atske amra edhane kono translation korbuna. Kintu, a translation ta korte je amra onike kintu confused hoye jetam. That we are, we are going to use the past perfect and where we are going to use the past indefinite. Let me uh, show you a very short trick. Before, what's the meaning of before? Before or age. Mone rakte hobe, before er age perfect boshe. After or to pore, tahole after er pore ami past perfect boshabo. So, what you have to remember if we are having before or after? Jodi before thake, before or to age, tahole amar past perfect age boshabo. After or to pore, so past perfect wrong shota jabe after a pore. The rest part of this sentence is going to be in past indefinite. For example, the students had stood up before the teacher entered into the classroom. The students had stood up. So we have used before here, age. For that reason, we have used past perfect tense, had stood. And the second part, teacher entered. Here we have used V2 form, past indefinite. Now the same sentence has been used here in a reverse form using after. The students stood up after the teacher had entered into the classroom. Since we have used after here, we know that amra ki korbo after it pore amra perfecta dite. For that reason. We have used after the teacher had entered into the classroom. I'm going to repeat the structure of present indefinite and present perfect once again. If you have present indefinite, I'm sorry, past indefinite. If you have past indefinite, we are going to have the subject. We are going to have the V2 form of the verb and then the object. past perfect If you're going to write past perfect, we are going to have the subject. We are going to have had, then we are going to use the V3 form, past participle form of the verb. So, so far we have uh, seen another three rules using for, since, for, and the use of before and after. Now it's time for a quiz again. What is going to be the answer of this sentence? Five years Pass since his father died. You have to use the correct form of the verb pass here. What is going to be the correct answer? What do you think? Let me know. Let's see. Okay. Some of you have written half past, some of you have written had past. Toashin uh, Ahmed has written has past. Faisal Durjo, Rifa, half past. Chinmoy, had past. Shagor Halder, Likhetse, half past. Milva Islam, half past. Shaun, half past. Khorshed Alam, half past. Deepa had passed. So there is a confusion here. Some of you have written had passed. Some of you have written half passed. In this case, what you have to focus on is the second part. Father died. So it can a subject, then the V2. Since the is the subject, V2. Darbane past indefinite thake. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Ashik Mahmood half past, Obhijit Paul half past. Yes, the answer is going to be half past. Age bole chilam, sincere age ong she, jodi conjunction hi be since use hoi. So in the first case, if you have present indefinite or present perfect, then in the second part, we are going to have past indefinite. Since we already have past indefinite here, after since, so before that, what we are what we are going to use? We are going to use the present perfect form have past. 
Now it's time for the second question. The patient died before he was taken to hospital. The patient died before he was taken to hospital. Send me your answers. Okay, many students are already replying to me. Had died, Tahira Hawk. Now, Shin Tabasum had died. Rifa Zarif had died. Polash Barman had died. Sadi Rahman had died. Fatima had died. Mahfuz. Khorshad Alom has also written had died. Yasin Arafat Mahi. Half past. Half past. Half past is, was the previous question. Muhammad Samsul Alam had died, Priya Islam had died, Pramit Devnath had died, Ritika had died. Yes, you all are correct. Congratulations. The answer is going to be the patient had died before he was taken to hospital. Look at this part. He was taken to hospital. It's written as passive voice. For that reason, since it is passive voice and we know that it is um, he was taken. Tarmane tatsa past indefinite form. Before ragita hule ki hobi, we already know that. Before, before we are going to use past perfect. So we have written the patient had died. Students, I'm repeating it once again. When you have to answer this type of question, you're going to have the blank here and you are going to have the number like A, B, C, D, or Roman 1, 2, 3, 4. In this case, you don't need to reproduce or rewrite the sentence. You can just write had died this way, in this part. Shudhumatro shoti kuttota had died likli hobe. Now this is the last question. We live here since 2000. Let's see who are going to be correct. We live here since 2000. Okay, so answers are coming. Abdul Rashid are living. Lived. Tahira Hawk are living. Sheikh Salim. Kausar Ahmed have been living, Mahfuz Ahmed had been living, Ritika Roy have been living. Since such a ebong a live or thot bashkar ta kabe thi ki shuru hoye chilo sheti dia chhe. So what is going to be? Are living, are living, have been living, okay, have been living. Shelly have been living. Priya Islam has also written have been living. Raisa. Polash, Bormon are living, Apun Shaha are living, Ratan Bhattarje are have been living. Okay, yes, absolutely correct. The answer is going to be we have been living. Many of you have written lived here. I mean, Abar Bolchi Kothata. Since Jodi Kunakta Kaj Kokhun Shuru Hueche, Sheta Bochata Babrita Hoi. Tabe amra contents ta use korbo present perfect continuous. Have been living. Subject plus have or has. Been plus verb plus ing. And then the time expression. So a big thanks to all of you who have sent us the answers. We are going to follow the next rule here. Had better, had rather, would better, would rather. Let, must, need, dare. This type of expressions is going to use V1. That is the base form of the verb. No S or ES is going to be added even if the subject is third person, singular number in these cases. For example, you had better go home. What you can see here? So we have written the base form of the verb go. Amra go is present form, base form ta shita use kore v1 form ta, the present form, go. Look at the second one, I won't let you do this. Ami tumakete korte dibo na. 
so since we have let as in here since we have let we are going to use do you do not have to consider the fact that it here here we have had here we have won't forget about this so what you have to keep in mind is if you have had better had brother would better would rather let must need dear we are going to use the base form present form of the verb would that would that bolte amra ki bujhi would that bolte moner emon ekta iccha ba wish ke prokash kore jeta hoyto kora ta possible hocche na for example if i say amader mone hoy shobari ekhon eki rokom manoshik obostha seta hocche amra jodi baire jete partam so let's see this example would that i could go outside ami jodi bahire jete partam in this case what we are what we have done we have used would that then the subject then we have used could and after that we have used the base form of the verb go so the structure is given here if you have would that at the beginning of the sentence you are going to use subject after that you are going to have could and then we are going to have v1 that means the present form of the verb would that i could go to my college ami jodi college e jete partam so again would that prothome tarpor amra subject ta likhbo could likhbo ebong tar pore je verb ta dibo sheti hobe obosshoi present form e would that i could go to my college would that i could go outside would that i could have this dress so ami jodi orthe amar kono ekta iccha prokash korte if you are going to express a wish of us we are going to use would that now this one to be or having if you have to be or having in a sentence then the verb that is going to be followed is going to be in past participle form v3 for example he ran away having taken the money she taka te niye ki hoyeche paliyeche so we have having here and we have a verb here so verb is going to be turned into past participle form that means the v3 form take took taken so we have used taken here he ran away having taken the money now the second one the principal wanted the notice to be given to the students to be we have to be and after that we have the verb so we have written the past participle of the verb give gave given so we have written what we have you written we have written given here abar bolchi to be othoba having jodi thake ebong tar pore ami jodi ekti verb boshai shei verb ti tahole kothay hoye jabe ki form e thakbe shei verb ti amra v3 form ba past participle form e debo past participle form ta amra use korbo now the next rule uh, so so this is the quiz time again So let's see if you have understood the last two rules. To be having, would that a rules, and the rules of had better, had rather, would better, would rather, let must need dear. So I'm repeating once again. If you have had better, had rather, would better, would rather, let must or need dear, you're going to use the base form, the present form of the verb. If you have would that, we are going to use could plus the present form of the verb. If you have to be and having we are going to use the past participle form of the verb. Now it's time for a short quiz. The our question is would that I can do it. You have to write use the correct form of the verb can in this blank. Tell me the answer, send me the answer in your comment section. Okay? Shantu, Deepa, Samsul, Rato, Nobhijit, Tahira is with uh, Tahira with us. Akash, Mehdi, Mafuz, Shaun. Please don't get upset if I cannot read all of your answers. Sayed Rahnuma, Kud, Rifa, Kud, Priya Islam, Kud, Khorshed Alam, Kud. Yes, ah, uh, that's great. 
Joshim Hussain, Sadip. That's great. All of you have made it correct. The answer is going to be could. Would that I could do it. Moving on to the second question. You had better to take a decision. Tell me what's going to be the correct one. Okay, Ajidul Islam, um, you're still in the previous question. Ritika Roy, she's the first one to give us answer. Tanvir Islam, Kausar, Shamsud Zoha, Ritika Roy. Tahira, um, me too. Joshim Shishir, Mahfuz Ahmed, Mahbub Siddiq, Sadiq, sorry. Raisa, Raisa, very constant student. Priya Khorshadalam, yes. Thank you so much for giving us the right answer. The answer is going to be take. You had better take a decision. You had better take a decision. So I'm feeling great here because I think that this concept has been clear to all of you. Okay, so I uh, think that we have already come to the end of the class. So before we end, we are going to clarify one thing. So this is the picture that um, is taken from the first class. That means the part one class of right form of verbs. We discussed about subject verb agreement in this class. Now there is a mistake here. So see, here I have written in the slide, singular subjects joined by and require a plural verb, but when they mean one thing or same person, the verb becomes plural. I'm extremely sorry for this unintentional mistake. This is going to be singular. When I explained it, I have explained it correctly. Even the examples are correct, but there is a writing mistake here. So this is going to be singular. This is not plural. This is going to be singular. Tarmane and dara jukto duto subject but due to noun jo the aki bhakti ba bostu ke bojhae ta hole amra je verb ta use korbo sheti hobe singular thank you to the person who has given us the, us the review or the feedback your review is very important for us because every teacher he or she may mis make a mistake teachers are not beyond mistakes so thank you for giving us this feedback for you we have conveyed the right information to the students so thank you and i'm extremely sorry for this unintentional unintentional mistake so this is the end of the class for today. Dear students, stay with us, stay at home, give us your feedbacks and comments. We are waiting for you. See you in the next class. Thank you.